Hello everybody! In this video I'm going to show you how to create a file and share it via torrent. Briefly, I will tell you what a torrent is, how to use it and how to create your own torrent file. If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you will be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. These days you can often hear folks talking about downloading something from torrent. But what does it mean? If you don't know it yet, I'll try to brief you on that in a few words. Over the several decades that the Internet has been around, people invented lots of ways to transfer their data. Yet until now, Torrent is one of the quickest and most convenient. You can use it easily to send a file or folder to your friends. This is just what you need if the piece of content you want to share is too big and squeezing it through email or social media is out of the question. For example, let's take a video of over 1 GB in size. The easiest solution to transfer it would be to create a torrent file and send it to your friend in any way you like. The file itself is tiny, a few dozen kilobytes. And then he or she will download the content at the maximum speed possible. The phrase download from torrent means to download a file from the Internet using a special technology, known as BitTorrent. Any file, be it a game, movie or program, consists of parts known as bits. On the Internet, one and the same file, for example a movie, can be stored on computers of many users. If you want to download a movie from torrent, it will be downloaded in parts bit by bit from various sources, and when all parts are downloaded, they will form a single file. Due to downloading from a multitude of user computers, a high download speed can be achieved. Another considerable advantage is that you can pause and resume the download process at any time without losing the data that has been already saved to your computer. So, in simple words, Torrent is a technology to download files from the Internet in parts or in bits from different sources. Now, what is a torrent file? All the information about the file you want to download from Torrent is stored in a special file with the corresponding extension .torrent. This little file determines the location your file will be downloaded from, specifies its size, how many parts it has, and how it should be downloaded. A torrent file is opened with a special program, a torrent client, which can read its contents and download the data specified there. So, how can you use a torrent? In order to download anything from torrent, you only need two things. A torrent file containing data on what you want to download and a torrent client that can open and download the data specified in the file with .torrent extension. Now the question is, how to create a torrent and share it? Let's examine two methods based on the two most popular apps of this kind. So the first thing you do is to download a torrent client if you don't have it yet. I will illustrate it with the example of uTorrent. Install and stop this utility. In the window that opens, click File – Create new torrent. You can see there is a shortcut to quickly create a file, just press Ctrl plus N. Another window opens to select a file or folder which you want to transfer. If there are several files for sharing, it would be better to put them into one folder and avoid creating several torrents, one for each file. After you specify the file or folder, click Create, select the directory where to save the torrent file, and click Save. A small window appears with the utility asking you if you want to proceed without specifying the tracker. Click Yes. That's all. The torrent is ready. I recommend creating a special folder for all your torrents to save the trouble of having to rummage through all the directories in search of a certain file. Now you need to add the torrent for sharing. To do it, start the utility again, click File and select Add Torrent. Give the path to the file you have created before and click Open. You will see another small window, click Yes. Now the shared file will appear on the list of torrents with the corresponding status. 
right click on it and select for start. Now the torrent file is ready for sharing. The last step is to send the little torrent file to the person whom you want to share your file with. This person will also have to download the torrent client and use it to open the file received from you. File Add torrent And the download will start immediately. When the download is over, you will see a corresponding notification. Another popular torrent client is MediaGet. It is an improved tool turned into a full-featured media center that can both search and download necessary files. Creating a torrent file in MediaGet is even easier than in the previous app, so anyone can handle this task, even those who have very limited computer skills. It takes a few steps. Use the mouse to drag the file you want to share into the lower left corner of the MediaGet window. That's just what it says here. Now the app will generate a link that you need to send to your friend. By following the link, he or she can download the torrent file. That's all you need to share files with MediaGet. The status of shared file is marked with certain colors to inform the user. Green means the file is being shared. Yellow says uh, the file image has been uploaded, but the link is not generated yet. Red warns you there is a problem. There could be several things to turn the color indicator to red. Your Internet service provider doesn't give you an IP address. It happens when you use a dynamic IP address, so the solution is to arrange yourself a static IP address. Firewall is blocking all connections. The solution is to configure it properly. The UPnP function in your router is disabled or not supported. Turn it on or replace the router. Finally, if you need to stop sharing a file via torrent, there are two ways of doing it. Right-click on the shared file and select Stop. Or just exit the app. Too many files being shared can limit the speed available for incoming data. It means less bandwidth for your browser, YouTube videos, etc. So, in order to limit the upload speed for shared files, right-click on the shared file, select Bandwidth Allocation, set Upload Limit and specify speed limitations. And this is all for now. I hope this video was useful for you. Remember to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell button to receive notifications and never miss new videos. Leave comments to ask questions. Thank you for watching and good luck!